Hello friends, under this video tutorial, we are diving into the world of secure authentication, as we guide you through the process of creating a login system, using JWT means JSON Web Token in PHP. In an era, where data security is paramount, so we have to understand, how to implement robust authentication mechanisms is crucial task. So JWT provides a powerful solution, for token based authentication, which offering efficiency and scalability. Whether you are a seasoned developer, and looking to enhance your skills, or a beginner eager to grasp the fundamentals, then this tutorial is designed for you. We will take you, the step by step through the process, and explaining each concept along the way. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this our testing database. And under this, we have one user table, with table column like, user ID, user email, user password and user name. And under this table, we have already insert, one sample data, for this tutorial. And we will make login page, and by using this data, we will authenticate user, by using JWT token. Now here, we have open working folder, in text editor, and first we want to install library, for JWT token. So we have goes to command prompt, and goes into our working directory. And then after, we have run this command, so this command will start download, and install this library. Now here, we can see that, PHP library for JWT has been downloaded, and now we have goes to text editor. Here, we can see that, library has been downloaded under vendor folder. And here, we have already created, index, welcome and logout file. So first, we have open, index file, and under this file, we have already included bootstrap library. Now first, we have to create, login form under this file. So here, we have to write, form tag, with method attribute is equal to post. Under this form, we have to create, one text box, for enter email address details. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to email. And after this, we have to write, name attribute is equal to email. Next, we have to create, another field for enter password details. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to, password. And after this, we have to write, name attribute is equal to password. So after creating login field, now for submit login data, we have to create login button. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to submit, and then after. We have to write, name attribute is equal to login, and value is equal to login. So here, we can see that, login form has been created. Now we have to proceed for authenticate user, by using JSON Web Token. So here, first we have to include, Composer Autoload file, for PHP JSON Web Token class file. After this, we have include PHP namespace for, this PHP JSON Web Token library. Next, we have create, $1 error variable, with blank value, and under this variable, we will store validation error. Now for validate login form data, so here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition. We have to write, php is set function, with dollar post login variable. So this condition will check, if this variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code. Under this block, first we want to make database connection, so here we have to write, dollar connect variable is equal to new pdo class object with three argument in first argument we have to write mysql host is equal to localhost 
database name is equal to testing next user name argument we have to write root and in third password argument we have to write password so this code will make database connection so after making database connection now we want to validate user has enter correct email or not so for this here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write php empty function with dollar post email variable if this variable has blank value then it will execute if block of code and here we have to write dollar error variable is equal to error message like please enter email details after this we want to check that user has enter password details or not so for this here we have to write else if statement and under condition we have to write php empty function and under this function we have to write dollar post password variable so if this variable has blank value then it will execute this block of code and here we have to write dollar error variable is equal to error message like please enter password but suppose all condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we want to validate user login details and if it is correct then we will generate json web token and authenticate that user so for this here we have to write dollar query variable is equal to select star from user table where user email is equal to question mark so this query will check user email data now below this query we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method with dollar query method so it will prepare query for execution now we want to execute above query so here we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have to write dollar post email variable so it will execute above query now for fetch data from query execution so here we have to write dollar data variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method and under this we have to write pdo class fetch associative array method so it will fetch data from query execution in an array format and store in dollar data variable now we want to check user has enter correct email or not so here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar data variable so if this variable has no value that means user has enter incorrect email and it will execute else block of code and here we have to write dollar error variable is equal to error message like wrong email address but suppose user has enter correct email address then it will execute if block of code and under this block first we want to validate that user has enter correct password or not so for this here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar data user password variable value is equal to value of dollar post password variable if this condition falls that means user has enter wrong password and it will execute else block of code and here we have to write dollar error variable is equal to error message like wrong password but suppose user has enter correct password then it will execute if block of code and under this block we want to generate json web token and authenticate user so for this here we have to write dollar key variable is equal to this key so here this is json web token key which it will use for encode and decode user data after this we have to write dollar token variable is equal to json web token class with encode method so this method will converts and signs a php array into json web token string in this method first argument we have to define payload php array in array first key we have to write issued at and in value we have to write php time function in second key we have to write not before 
and in value, we have to write PHP time function. In third key, we have to write expired and in value, we have to write time function plus 3600, so this token will expire after one hour. In fourth key, we have to write data, and in value, we have create another array. And in this array first key, we have to write user ID, and in value, we have to write dollar data user ID variable. In second key, we have to write user name, and in in value, we have to write dollar data user name variable. So in sub array, we have to user data, and in main array we have store JSON web token time data. In second argument, we have to define JSON web token key. So here we have to write dollar key variable. And in third argument, we have defined algorithm name, which will be used for encode and decode string. So this code will convert this array data into JSON web tokens string. So this way, we can generate JSON web token. So after generating JSON web token, now we want to store in cookies, so we can authenticate user data on another page. So here, we have to write set cookies function with seven argument. So in first cookie name argument, we have to write token. In second argument value, we have to write dollar token variable. In third expire argument, we have to write PHP time function plus 3600, so it will expire this cookies after one hour. In fourth path argument, we have to write slash. In fifth domain argument, we have to write blank value. In sixth and seventh argument, we have to write true and true accordingly. So here, we have store JSON web tokens under cookies by using this function. After this, we want to redirect to welcome page. So here we have to write PHP header function and under this, we have to write location with welcome.php so it will redirect to this page. After this, we want to display validation error on web page. So here, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write dollar error variable value is not equal to blank. If this dollar error variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code. And here, we have to write PHP echo statement with this code, which will display error message on web page. Now we have goes to welcome.php file, and here also, we have already included bootstrap library and some sample HTML code. Now under this file, we want to authenticate user by using JSON web token. So here, first we have include compose auto load file of PHP JSON web token library. After this, we have include namespace of JSON web token class. And after this, we have include key namespace of JSON web token class. Now we have to write dollar key variable is equal to JSON web token key, which we have already used in validation of user login data. Now we want to check user is login or not. So for this, here we have to write if statement and under condition. We have to write PHP is set function with dollar cookie token variable, if this variable value is not set, then it will execute else block of code. And here, we have to write PHP header function with location set to index.php file. So if user is not login and try to access this page, then it will be redirect to login page. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code and under this block, 
We want to decode JSON web token string, so here we have to write dollar decoded variable is equal to JSON web token class with decode method with two argument. In first argument, we have define JSON web token string, which is store under dollar cookie token variable. In second argument, we have to define JSON web token key and algorithm details. So here, we have to write new key object with two argument like dollar key variable and algorithm name. So this code will decode JSON web token string for authenticate user and store data under this dollar decoded variable. Now we want to print login user name on web page. So here we have to write PHP echo statement with dollar decoded variable with data variable with user name key, which will print login user name on web page, which we have store under JSON web token string. After this, we want to make logout link. So here we have create one anchor tag with href attribute is equal to logout.php and in anchor text we have to write logout. So by click on this, user will be logout from system and redirect to login page. So for this, we have goes to logout.php file and here we want to clear the JSON web token cookie on the client side. So for this, here we have to write this set cookie function with this argument. So this code will clear JSON when token cookie data on client side. Next we want to redirect to login page. So here we have to write PHP header function. And under this we have to set location with index.php file. So it will redirect to login page. So here our code is ready. Now we have to check output in browser. So friends here on web page we have open login on web page. Now first we want to check form validation is working or not, so we have directly click on login button. Then it has display error message like email is required. So we have enter email details. And after this, we have click on login button. So now it has display password details is required. So now. We have enter Roin email address and Roin password details. And after this, we have click on login button. So after click on login button. Here we can see that Roin email address error message has been displayed. So now we have enter correct email address details and Roin password details has been enter. And now we have click on login button. So after click on login button. Here we can see that Roin password error message has been displayed on web page. So here all validation are working properly. So now we have enter correct email and correct password details. And after this we have click on login button. So after click on login button. Here we can see that we have login into system and we have been redirect to welcome page. And here on welcome page, we can see that login user name has been displayed on web page. This user name has been fetched from JSON web token, which we store after validate user login details. So here, user authentication has been validated by using JSON web token. Now for logout from system, here we have to click on logout link. So after click on logout link, here we can see that user has been logout from system. And redirect to login page. Now we have directly access welcome page without login into system. So here we can see that user has been redirect to login page if user directly access welcome page without login into system. So this way we can implement JSON web token library in PHP for authenticate user. So if you have any query or input regarding this video so you can write your query in comment box and if you like this video, so subscribe this channel for update of upcoming video tutorial.